Mallorca the other evening. Expect a few here. Maybe even six of them. Trying to flick it past fine leg. There was a long chat in between overs, and Ashwin saying, I'm going to dance across and flick it around the corner. But he meant to hit it. Gee, it's tough when it's your first ball in your face to try and play that shot. Well, I think I think at absolute worst, he's got to get something on it. If you're going to hit straight, that's okay. If you miss time, it's still get a one. Doney's got to get on strike, surely. Absolutely. He's got to do whatever it takes to get Doney on strike. There might be two here, darting around in the deep. Oh, there's a misfield, but Danny does not want to come back from the, for the second. He wants the strike. How's that for confidence? Danny has knocked him back twice there. Well, it's all down to Danny, isn't it? Four balls left. There's a misfield. That doesn't mean David Warner's best night in the field. He didn't cost his side any runs there. It's all come down to this man. Four balls left, they need 12 runs to win. We know he's good. Gee, he's left it late. He really has. MS Doney, the skipper. Can he find three boundaries? I feel that he's the man to do it. Can't afford a single. Can't afford a dot ball. Goes without saying. It has to be the rope. Oh, he's been bowling good Yorkers. And he's gone down the ground. I think it's massive. He has cleared it. That is a phenomenal hit from Downey. Maybe he's timed it to perfection. Unbelievable cricket. Really unbelievable. It needed a Yorker. It wasn't a Yorker. He is so powerful in the arms. And that one has gone to the long boundary down the ground. Now, that has changed things. Well... That is huge. It, you can't explain how big that is. That's probably the biggest boundary in Australia there. And he's cleared it comfortably when he needed 12 or four balls. And he lay back. All his weight was on the back foot. And Clint McKay could not believe how pure that stroke was. He has not only found the rope, he's cleared the fence. That's gone about 130 metres. All right, six from three. Just hit another one of those, MS. Yep, they're not home yet, though. That's a massive 112. It's the longest run we've seen oh, for a few I years. I it was 130. <laughs> they're not home yet, though. They're not home yet. Still six to get off three. Here we go. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, no, he's out. It's a no ball, though. They're coming back for two. It's all happening at the Adelaide Oval. No ball on height. It was a full toss, too high above the waist. That's why the arm is out. So that will be three. They ran two, plus the no ball. That's three. And should be three off the remaining three balls. Now, Donny's probably saying, isn't it a free hit? No, no, no free hit. <laughs> above the waist, you get one for the no ball, and you get two for the two you ran. So Tony's just making absolutely sure he knows what's required here. No doubt about uh, the fact there's a no ball. Uh, the hearts of the Indians there would have sunk when it went straight down the throat of uh, Warner. So there we are. They come back for the second. So now they've got to get three of three balls to win. Well, it's India now, isn't it? And MS Tony is a genius. He's taken it into the 50th over. You thought he might have been just a little bit too lacklustre. Didn't go for the big shots. He just has the ultimate confidence. Turns it round. There's going to be two. It might even be four. Dave Ward is chasing after it. Flicks it in, but they'll run three, won't they? And that's victory to India. Two balls remain.